All right, guys. Uh, I'm doing another video on the long barrel. Uh, this time I got Florian's uh, sniper barrels on. I got up to 26 inches. Um, yeah, we're going to be trying the, the Z-Rams and the, the steel balls again. I got some the plywood that I, same plywood I got from uh, the other videos a while back when I was shooting 95 and 80 and all them through the, I tested all the markers through the plywood. Um, the stuff I got yesterday was really hard, solid stuff. It had more layers. It was a grade one. I think it was a hardwood. It was like almost three times the price of the stuff. So I was wondering why it was expensive. But anyways, um, yeah, we were only getting through like two sheets maybe three yesterday on those other videos so i think it had to do with the grade of the plywood but anyways we're gonna find out today um i got two inches in there so i got one inch and one inch they're all half inch sheets um yeah so let's see what we can do here um yeah i got this uh i'm gonna be doing the the HDR rifle. I'm going to be doing the HDR 50. And um, yeah, I got the 20, 26 inch barrel, all the f extensions on there. There's five extensions. Actually, there's four extensions and the tuning run extensions on the very tip with no end thread. Uh, I got the Z chamber in, two of them. And Normally, I'd put it in this carbine over here, but the Z chambers won't fit in it. Yeah, so because of this part in the stock, the Z chambers would have to come through here. So I'd have to drill a big hole in there and then compromise the stock. So I'm not going to bother with that. It fits great in the XM4 carbine with very little modification. <clears throat> um, yeah, I got, the, I got the steel balls in. I'm going to be testing this too. I, I just found it odd how it didn't go through. That wood, that wood was really solid. Turns out it was a, a lot better, harder grade than the average plywood. So I got the average plywood now. I'm going to see what happens. But, uh, yeah, okay, let's give it a go now. Let me get, oh, I'm going to put a little oil in. using the, the hose adapter because that MCS adapter seems to be dropping and jumping and hitting weird numbers. I don't know, it might be the seal in it. I couldn't tell you, but... Um, connect this. So we've got a bunch of ammos here. Uh, I'm going to be testing out as well. I got Z rams. I got glass balls in here in 50 cal. I got those spiky ones. I don't know if I'm going to be doing these in this video, but eventually I will. I'm going to test out the high FPS on the rubber, the, the one gram rubber balls from Umarex. I got these homemade wax slugs I made. There's a 12 millimeter steel ball bearing right underneath the surface of the wax, the tip. And I'm also going to be doing these arrows I bought and these little dart arrows I made. This one here is 12 grams. These ones, I'm not sure if they're 11 or 10. And in the magazine, it comes with a, a spit. See, notice how there's not that metal thing with the gears on it? This is made so when you put it in, it doesn't spin. That way, when you load the ball into the muzzle or the, the round in the muzzle, um, this won't spin and jam up because it spins before it shoots so that way it'll sit in here and it won't rotate when you pull the trigger alright so <clears throat> let's get on with the test <clears throat> um, okay 
So we're starting at that last shot we took at 775. Um, turn my bottle on. Uh, and slide check. Okay, we are gassed up. <clears throat> Make sure I get this straight across those two sensors. See if I'm shooting up higher, it'll read a lot wider, but I don't have I'm just gonna use my support so I don't screw anything up. So um let's shoot number one. Number one, hold on, I'm gonna go see that quickly. We got 509 FPS. This looks like it's strong board too for some reason. Um Shot 2 Is that read 492? Five thirty-one. Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. Um, four ninety-two and five twenty-four. Jesus, that's up in the hundred jewel range. Oh, we got one more in there, we did. Actually, I'm just going to swap it over to the Z-Rans now. Um, try this again. Six fifty-six. Six sixty four six fifty seven six sixty pretty consistent and six forty eight. Oh, I left one in again. I, I can't count for shit. Um yeah, let me just take off this light check. <clears throat> Set this marker down. Yeah, this don't go through that, man. This wood is just insane nowadays. <laughs> okay, it looks like we only got through about three sheets and then it stopped and then it stopped on the last one I guess so yeah it's hard to say I noticed oh yeah the Z-Rams are coming out sideways they're toggling um, that's in sideways so yeah I think the aerodynamics are going to have to be changed on these but as you can see, they're coming in sideways. <clears throat> yeah, they're completely flipped around. See that? But. But yeah, there's one right there, clear. Now look. At almost 100 joules, when a steel ball doesn't go through, that's just something insane. <clears throat> huh. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't the wood, so I guess this wood is really crazy strong. <laughs> Yesterday, we had one go through three pieces. 
at around just around 90 joules or under I can't remember exactly but yeah anyways guys uh, until the next one take care and have a good one